Ron Maines here for my father, David Maines, on this two-year journey through the Bible. I trust you're following along online at 100words.ca. We're in Nehemiah chapters five and six today, and our key verse is six, verse three. So I sent messengers to them saying, I am doing a great work so that I cannot come down. Why should the work cease while I leave it and go down to you? Hmm. This writing may have been a report back to King Artaxerxes in Persia. Not only did it speak of rebuilding the walls, but of the reform of civil society. Nehemiah took measures to repopulate Jerusalem with observant Jews. He enforced the cancellation of debt, providing a brand new start for the people. He assisted Ezra in teaching and implementing the law of Moses. Nehemiah's determined leadership is captured in our key verse. He considered what he was doing a great work. We should never minimize the call of God on our lives. Doing God's will is a great work. In spite of the attempts of others to lure Nehemiah away and put fear into his heart, he never gave up. He took leadership and persisted in his efforts, trusting God above all. Our prayer for today is, Lord God, I'm trusting you, as did Nehemiah, to stay true to your calling on my life, no matter what opposition tries to throw me off track. Because of my relationship with Jesus and the power of your spirit within me, victory is sure. Amen. Amen. Again, be sure to follow along online, 100words.ca. Lots more commentary there from David Maines. Great photos of the Holy Land, links to other things. Very fascinating, interesting. Be sure to be there online.